this week on What Do You Got? Technology is against me. Stay tuned. You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all fucking day. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to What Do You Got? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. (laughs) What do you got? So one of us bring one of the topics to the table. And we just bullshit it for a little bit because uh, the other person doesn't know what it is. This week is Tim's turn for what do you got? What do you got? Technology's trying to kill me. Well, it's against me at the very least. All right, John Connor. (laughs) I came from the future. (laughs) Why? All right, right, so I got a couple good stories for you. You already know the first one, kind of. But there's a list of reasons that technology is currently against me, trying to kill me, trying to do something with me. Something is off. Something is off. I'll you put ever it that way. It's like maybe an evil. It's, maybe it's you. I think it's an evil leprechaun. That's what I'm going with. I mean, that's a possibility. That's my story. It is a possibility. So the first story I'm going to tell you has, it's going to be like I'm telling two stories. The first part is going. You think you know where it's going, and then it's going to make a 180, and you're just going to be like, okay. So. Okay. I'm uh, interested. I, I get a message, a text message from a number I don't recognize, and it was a picture of two different dresses and follow up message that say, Hey Alexa, um, so and so said that you were looking for a dress for your birthday. So here are some samples that I got for you. I responded to this lady and say, Ma'am, I am a thirty four year old man, so I am fairly confident that you have the wrong number. She goes, I am so sorry and I say, Not a problem and then she goes, You're a very kind person. So what do you think? So <laughs> I do what any person, sane person would do, and I start sharing this with all my friends. I take a screenshot of it, and they're all laughing, and they're egging me on. They're like, you have to like go back and forth with this woman now. Well, you, well now you have to. Now I have to. So I responded, they look very nice. And she's like, thank you for that nice opinion. So how's your day going? So I am okay. just is sitting this, there like, is this not someone that's looking for a dress? <laughs> I, they were professionally made dresses. I, that's all I got. So there's a thing called the internet. There is a thing called the internet. So I'm laughing a little bit and I realize, you know what WhatsApp is, right? I've heard of it. I kind of know what it is. It's like for international stuff, but people also use it for fuckery. Yeah, so you can just text message on it. But you see numbers and stuff. Like, it's not anonymous or anything like that. So I remember once upon a time, someone, same thing. Someone messaged me on WhatsApp, wrong number. And in that conversation, they said, you are a very kind person. And this person said it too. Mm. So what are the odds that that would happen, right? A very, that's that's literally verbatim what they said. You're a very kind person. Yes. That sounds like somebody that's not from here trying to scam you. That's how somebody who like just learned English would talk. It does, right? So I open up my WhatsApp and I want to show it to my buddies because we're now like going back and forth. What? I yeah, this say is your day now. Yeah, this is my day. Yeah. So fuck the chores. Well, it's my night. It's about seven, eight o'clock at night, which is important. Oh, slow down, bro. So, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, so <laughs> whoa. <laughs> so I open up my WhatsApp. I find the message. I go and take a screenshot of it, and as I take a screenshot of it, my phone starts calling 911. <laughs> oh, okay. So, there, you know, on your phone, you have that emergency dial button. If you can't unlock your phone, there's still the emergency call button. Yes. It's like that just activated. I know that if you hit the po- – well, you don't have a good phone. So Let me finish the story because okay. I know where you're going with that. Mm-hmm. So I'm able to ha- – to stop it before it actually goes through. Whew, close call. It starts immediately calling 911 again. This time, a bunch of stuff starts happening in my phone. My camera turns on, my settings start to open, and I could see it flashing. It's like a bunch of apps are opening in the background all at the same time. And it freezes my screen. So now I can't stop the 911 call. And it actually starts ringing. So. They tell you once you're on the phone with 911, don't hang up. So I don't. And I wait. And sure as shit, I get the 911. What is your emergency? And I go, ma'am, I am so sorry. I butt dialed you. There is no emergency. Ma'am? Ma'am? I look at my phone. It had not turned off, but it had hung up on them. 
and it was now in some weird Google loading screen. It just had like the Google symbol and like a loading icon spinning, spinning. So I'm sitting there thinking, I just hung up on 911. I literally just went from having a fun, nonchalant day to calling 911 and hanging up on them completely accidentally. Which, which to be fair, most people just hang up when they accidentally do that. They do, but I didn't try to do that. No, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. So apparently when I panic, my go-to move is to clean because I immediately in my head thought, not a one's going to come here. Not a one's going to come here. The telephones are going to come. No, uh, the cops are going to come. They're going to want to like look around to see if anything's actually wrong. So I start cleaning up, cleaning up, cleaning up, smack myself on the head and be like, be a rational human being here for yeah, a second. You're, that's all irrational behavior. Yeah, that, I immediately went to You irrational. are not the go-to in a panic situation. <laughs> so I... I'm able to turn my phone off, off. I plug it in. I turn it on. It immediately tries to call 911 again. I'm able to stop it this time, for real. And it stops. It's no longer calling 911. Great. My brother's a police officer. I don't know if he's on duty or not. But I figure I'll give him a call and say, what do I do? Mm. I don't want to call 911 back and be like, that was just a joke. Sorry. So <laughs> and then it calls it again. That, that seems like a bad idea. So I call my brother. Go straight to voicemail. So I call my sister-in-law. And she answers, and I go, hey, is James with you? She goes, no, but he's on duty, and they're currently on their way to your house because apparently there was a 911 call. So news travel fast. This all happened within like five 911 minutes. tends to do that. Yeah, they tend to be a little quick about yeah. it. So I go, so, I go, Jen, just so you know, there is no emergency. Something is up with my phone. I don't know what's going on, but I'm okay. Sounds like something a kidnapper would make you say. <laughs> it does, right? So I look down at my phone. It hung up on her. So all she knows is I called 911. Even more suspicious behavior. And then I called her looking for my cop brother. And when she said he's not there, I hung up. <laughs> and it started to call 911 again. So now I turn my phone off, off. But thankfully, I realize my brother's on his way to my house. It's not the actual cops. <laughs> it's just dumb, James. It's <laughs> <laughs> so I'm able to calm down a little bit. But like... It sounds dumb, but my adrenaline was, like, pumping. So I go outside. I wait for him to show up. He pulls up. He looks at me. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? Excuse and me. And you're like, I, I, everyone has been telling me to get an iPhone for years, <laughs> and I don't want to out of spite. So I have this piece of shit phone, and it's the piece, and I'm going to get another one after you leave. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> how to, how to I'm going to circle back to that in a yeah. second. You're going to get real mad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> the fuck was I going with this? So I tell him the story. He's fucking dying laughing. Apparently, not one didn't even like put it out over the airwaves. Once like, they saw, who's that? Tim? Yeah. Fuck. Once they saw the address and the name, they called him personally and they go, So who lives at such and such address? I almost actually sent my address on the air. Um, on the air. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, My brother, why? And he agreed to show up and so we're bullshitting for a little bit. And we agreed my phone doesn't turn back on. So I get a new one. And everything's been great, except the one day I was using it. I was just playing a dumb game when I woke up in the morning. I put it down. I actually wake up, go to the restroom, come back, and it's in that loading screen with the Google on the spinning thing, and I don't know why. So I'm sitting there like, did... Why was it on? Did you just call 911? It's like, no, Timothy. So I'm sitting come there staring at my phone. I literally am just waiting around for like 10, 20 minutes, just being like, I don't know if cops are going to show up or not. I legitimately don't know. They didn't. So, so what it did happened not... to the piece of shit? It's in a drawer. No, this one. The, the new piece of shit. I'm pretending it didn't happen. Okay. Denial. <laughs> I, I like it. I like 100% it. It's, in it's denial. a really good go-to. It's, it's just such deny a good go -to. the problems that are facing you. I, I did start cleaning again. <laughs> My life is falling apart, but my kitchen looks fantastic. <laughs> it's so yeah. <laughs> so that was story number. That was story number one. So now I know that like if I go into your house and it's spotless, you are in trauma. I'm I'm in deep shit. Okay. If my house looks clean, I'm in deep shit. So it's like if your house is a disaster, like everything's fine. Yep. Okay. That's it. That's a good. If people are unannounced, if I know people are coming up, I'm gonna clean up. But like well, if you just show a panic attack. If you yeah, if you just show up and like there's beer cans everywhere, I might be a mild alcoholic, but I'm good. <laughs> but at least I'm not dialing nine one one. Yeah, there's no emergency. Could you imagine if I was like drunk or high, 
No one would ever believe me. It was the phone. It did it by no. itself. I just imagine like people going in to kidnap you. And then they, they, they just see you like sitting around beer cans. Your house is a mess. And they're like, let's go kidnap somebody else. No one's going to pay for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's story number one. So now new phone, 650 bucks later, something like that. Oh, that's not that bad. No, it really wasn't that bad. Yeah. You know why it's only 650 bucks is it doesn't work. <laughs> it works too well. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can use it for the one thing. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I'll keep my old phone and like my, uh, don't let it hang out with that one. It'll bad turn it bad. <laughs> Yo, you want to get high? Call number one. <laughs> yeah, he'll start hanging out on the wrong fucking yeah. websites. So that one wasn't my fault. The next one, someone may have spilled. I told you water, but it may have actually been uh, beer. Beer. Hmm? beer. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, someone when you said water, I was like, no, you're not. You're not <laughs> sitting at your computer drinking water. Don't fucking lie to me. <laughs> but you were going through a crisis, which was a, a, like somebody who likes gaming that just lost their computer. So I was like, I'm not going to bring up the fact that I know it wasn't water that so, you were drinking. So that's the story, everybody. I, I spilled a little, a little, a drop, a drop or two of beer Half can. On, my, uh, on my keyboard. And now my mouse, pow- mouse pad doesn't work and my space bar doesn't work. And it's like just enough doesn't work where the computer is useless. Can't you get an external? Yeah, I can. And that's going to be my temporary solution. But like this computer, I also bring the clients and stuff. So I can't be like, there's my laptop and here's the mouse and keyboard. I need. Why doesn't it work? I have a, a problem. <laughs> <laughs> my hands shake when I don't have enough water. <laughs> <laughs> Had a little shaky hands next to the laptop. Yeah. I need four minis of water in the morning just to get myself going. Um, I used to know a guy like that. Um, I work in construction. I know more guys like that than I don't know guys like that. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. So that was story number, <coughs> story number two. So now I haven't bought one yet. So there's a price tag that is going to add up. And now the fucking stream deck. Just the, just the tip of the iceberg. We use a little funky little switch thing right here to manage all the shit. And it's not working. And I'm really upset. So now I, I have to use a goddamn... <clears throat> and the mouse wasn't working. I, the ma- yeah. It sounds, I'm telling you, something's You're not allowed up. to touch anything else. Something is Don't up. touch the light switch. Don't touch the fucking TV. Don't <laughs> fucking do it. Don't, don't do it. Fucking don't fucking do it. Don't do it. Um, I will say, that as somebody that is a fan of most technology, is also the person who would be the one to take up arms against it first. Uh... Because there's nothing that can piss you off quite like technology because it's something that we all think that we really understand and we don't. So, like, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm really good with computers. Like, I can build them. And I'm really good with uh, iPhones or, you know, pieces of shit. And, like, I'm really good with them. And then they don't work and you're like, I know nothing. I have no power. I I can't fix it. I don't know what's wrong with it. You know what? It's funny. When my phone called 911, after the whole thing and I calmed down a little bit, I immediately ordered a new one. But part of me was like, you know, you probably could have fixed this. Mm. But I don't want to I don't want to test that. Because how many times can you accidentally call 911 and people laugh it off? Like if I turn it back on and it did call 911 again and it went through, like will they find no- round number two just as funny as round number one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what's also weird that I just thought about? What? with technology that makes it so frustrating and, and kind of scary. And I'd say technology, meaning like modern technology, yeah. but like up until like the phone and the computer, I guess like bombs and no, no, like you could get like two guys. If you had two people in the know, you could pretty much build everything like pre 1950. Right? Okay. If you give it enough time, like two people that knew how to do it, what in their head, like only two people, it's like, oh, I need a tank. It's like, okay, then you can get a guy that knows how to build a tank. I don't know if you can get two guys that could build a smartphone and make it work. Reminds me of the Family Guy episode. He looks, I think they were like 
replicating the Bible stories. And the guy looks down at one point and goes, how's the TV coming along? And they're, they're just holding up sticks and they're like, we're a really long ways off. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not there yet. <laughs> yeah. No. You're like, if you have a problem with your car, like you can get one guy yeah. that could fix uh, any problem with a car with a phone. It's like, oh no, that's the OS. You need an OS IT guy. It's like, I'm an Apple IT guy or whatever. Like it doesn't, I feel like more like you need a collection, like a team of people to understand the full picture. Yeah. And nobody quite trusts everybody else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it, you know, when you're talking to an IT guy and he's like, I got this and whatever. And you're like, I don't think you know what you're doing. <laughs> I think you might figure this out, but I don't think you know why it worked. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I, I yeah. The IT trust is not there. Yeah. Like a mechanic once in a while might like bang something and it will work. But for the most part, you kind of have to know what you're doing to fix something. Yeah. IT, it it's just like, I'm going to, I'm just going to keep clicking. I'm just going to hit buttons. Until or I'm going to be like, oh, you know what? It's the, you know, the OS is operating. So it's just different this time. And, you know, the, it just, it's too complicated for you to understand. Just got to get a new one. It's broken. And that means I don't know what's wrong. I, yeah. I pulled that before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's true. Cause at, now I'm going to work stories, but like at work, I'll sit there and be like, I can fix this, but how many hours do you want me to work on this versus just get a new one? Well, yeah. Well, just think about like, that is the problem too, though, is that they, it really does have a mind of its own. Any computer has a mind. Yeah. Which is works within the, the parameters that you set for it. But the problem is the bigger the computer, the more like parameters that are in there. And you're talking like millions of lines of code. And, like, the right sequence and the right fucking, like, like it might just change one thing. And it that one thing just offsets everything else. Yeah. And you just can't fix it. Yeah. Like, how many times have you had a computer issue where you're like, well, now every time I open this game, it, like, flashes the screen. And then I have to, like, re, re-maximize the screen. And you're like, why does it do that? You're like, I don't know, but it works. So I'm not going to – I don't care. Yeah. Right, I'm, I'm <laughs> Allie. Whenever she opens a PDF, has to log in, and she had me look at it, and I was like, I don't know. That's I what's can't. annoying with technology. Yeah, because with with something like like analog or like a like a car, I keep going back to cars because I'm in mechanics. But you're like, oh, there's a clunking. Well, that clunking is this. Yeah, and it's this. It's that's what it is. There's it's, only so much in there. We're going to wrap up soon, but it's funny that you say that because I have a clunking in my car. It's you told brand me, new. It's not a clunking. It's a clicking. And you told me, you're like, it's probably your heat shield. And oh, so yeah, I was yeah, in yeah. the car with Mike the other day, and we're driving, driving. And I'm like, oh, it also makes this sound. And he goes, eh, it's probably your heat shield. So that goes to show you. Yeah. It's, There's only so much on the car that it yeah. could be, right? And, and when you hear these things, you're like, that's what it is. It's finite. Yeah, but I think that com- I yeah. I think that everyone, you know, those things that like, uh, I, there's probably a word for it. I don't know. It's one of those like everyone knows it, but we don't know what it is. Like you like, it's like one of those things that everyone like understands, but they don't recognize that they know what's going on. Yeah, like but everyone has it. So like, usually technology when it doesn't work, it infuriates people. Right. And like everyone knows it infuriates them, but like they don't know why, quite why it does. Yeah. Because very few things can piss you off like your computer or your phone not working. That's that's the biggest like side of IT that there is. Like most IT professionals, a lot of times they'll be like, yeah, this is the, this is the issue, this is the issue. But a giant side of it is troubleshooting. Someone will look at you and be like, something's wrong. And you have to say to yourself, all right. I have to figure out what's wrong. Yeah. Because they're telling me a symptom. They're not telling me the problem. Yes, but I. But what I'm saying is, is that why I think the part or the main reason why people are so like hair trigger with the technology is because it's so not understood. Yeah, yeah. And like, I'm sure for an IT person, like at some point, like there's a point where like, When people are like, yeah, but I don't understand. Like, why do I have to do this? And the IT person's like, well, it's because of, like, they understand it more, so they get frustrated. But even them at some point, they're like, yeah, I don't know why. 
Like it just does it. So just do it, you know? <laughs> yep. But, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd say technology is like the, the go-to thing. I would say it pisses people off the most when it doesn't work. A hundred percent. Right. A hundred percent. It has to be. I'm coming hot off a of tax season and I had a conversation with a coworker and she was like, you know, she's like, if we didn't have the technology we have now, she's like, there's no way we would be able to do as much as we do. She's like, there's no way. But the moment something goes down or like starts like acting a little wonky, we get so angry, dude, so angry. Louis CK had the best bit on, on technology. I'm I'm not, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but the gist of it was he was on a plane and how like not appreciative we are of the technology we have. Yeah. And he was like the, the, the flight attendant was basically saying, this is the first flight that we're going to have Wi-Fi on a plane. And then like five minutes later, uh, they came on and they were like, oh, we're sorry, it's not working. And the guy next to him was like, fucking bullshit. He's like, how are you mad that something isn't working that you didn't even know existed five minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? But it's so true. Like, like I, dude, I know And the, the, the worst it's offenders, so the older you get, the worst offender you are with being that. mad at technology unjustly. A hundred percent. Right? So... How many times have we we all know the person who's looking at their phone or like this piece of shit doesn't work? It's like no, you're like I agree that pieces of shit like your phone don't work sometimes, but you are just not using it correctly. I almost took my laptop outside and bashed it with a hammer because That's I was how mad, mad can make because you. I was mad at it. Yeah, but I knew I caused it. <laughs> yes, but this, no, I'm saying like I'm saying to the point where somebody is going like. This is happening on my phone, and my phone shouldn't do that. And you're like, yeah, but you click the button that does that. And they're like, but why? Sh- why I don't want it to do that. And you're like, well, then don't click the button. And they're like, why do they put it there? And they're like, because nobody clicks that button. And they're like, well, this is bullshit. Stupid. I'm like, fucking invent another one. How's your phone doing? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Mine's good. It's probably calling them one. I should probably make sure it's not actually like... <coughs> We've been on the phone with the okay. cops the whole time. The whole time. That is a, a weird thing on my phone that happened to me the other day, and I didn't know it It was a thing. Like, I knew it was a thing, but, like, my brain didn't register. I was trying to turn my volume down, and it's just in a weird position because of how big my hand is. It just it doesn't line up right, yeah. and I, I was hitting the trying to hit the down button, but I, I had the phone the other way. Oh. And I hit, was hitting the power button. And I just like left it in my pocket for a second because I, I, it wasn't turning the volume down. So I like finished putting down what I was doing. And then I took my phone out and I'm like, oh, shit. It, 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 the, the SOS emergency thing had been on for like a decent amount of time <laughs> that you don't want it to be. So I was just like, no. <laughs> That's what happened to me. And then like that was it. You know why? Because I have an iPhone. All right? Because I, I understand it's, it supports a lot of sweatshops. So, but it doesn't call the cops. I mean, they all support sweatshops. Who are we fucking kidding? Yeah, what do you think? You're all superior with your Galaxy? It's not a Galaxy. So for those people wondering... It's got a G on it. <laughs> the people wondering, I'm currently using... Or I was using a Pixel 4. I'm now on the Pixel 6. So Pixel six is what is the Pixel six? The Pixel is made by Google and it runs on Google's phone service. I want how many people use those phones as opposed to iPhones? Not a lot. So Google, like, I, I it's been around for a while now, but I think it almost exclusively runs on. I I don't know. I don't know. But what I'm saying is, like, I'm just thinking about as a whole about how good those phones could be unless they're like stealing shit from iPhones, but they piss me off. But how good can they be if not a lot of people use them? I mean, and where do they get the money to fund it it and pay for it? It has to be a decent amount of people because this is number six. So they went through, this is the sixth generation. That's true. So I'm going to guess government contracts. All right. Here's your piece of shit. It can't complain, can you? <laughs> it's a. It's Google. They shit money bricks. They shit money bricks. Who the that fuck? That sounds like I? something with a, somebody with a Google phone would say. <laughs> yeah. 
Sorry, I can't okay. even tell a fucking story correct. <laughs> um, I haven't had my water recently. Yeah, no, I'm itching. you're low on your water. <laughs> um, the, what was the so one? you're saying that I was saying that how many people have those Google phones? And you said it has to be quite a amount because they're on number six. Yeah, they're on number six, but they piss me off because <laughs> so the first Google, maybe it was the second one too. I forget. But they had this advertisement. It came out just when Apple stopped putting in the headphone jack. And so not the whole bit, but like they had an advertisement that says, we still got it or something like that. Please tell me they didn't immediately take it away. With they the immediately take, took it away with the next generation. Pieces of sh- Is there... Okay. If you, had to, if you had to put them in a like, who's, who gets the first ballot... First draft, like first draft, first ballot Hall of Fame ticket to to meet the devil. Is it pharmaceutical companies? Is it technology companies that do this shit? Like who has le- less of a soul? Probably pharmaceuticals because that actually they're still the cool. kings, right? Yeah, that, that that they actually fuck with people. They gotta lives. be right. This is annoying, but it doesn't like it's not gonna ruin. Well, they did try to call SWAT on me. But like but <laughs> literally, literally putting out an, an ad campaign to try to steal customers saying like, hey, you know that thing that you really love? We still have it. And then once they get you, they're like, guess what? Fuck you. The, the reason you came here, the reason why you came here, it, we're taking it away. Yeah. All right. So now we're in the middle of it. I am going to do a quick review of the Google Pixel. Because Dude, let's do it. I hate it. I told you. I fucking hate I it. I fucking told you. I've been telling you for five years. So the, at least the second generation of Pixel, I think it was Gen 2, they had you, all the phones now have uh, uh, ID unlocked, your finger, t- your finger. So they used to have it on the back, right in the middle. And so you would grab your phone, pick it up, and you want to unlock it just by like that. That's holding your phone. Holding so your it's phone. easy. Now you have to use your thumb, and it's actually on the screen, and it is so bad. It worked right there, but it it only has like a fifty percent success rate, and they make oh. you like like do a lot to like get it to work, and it just fucking doesn't. And then this part's on me. This is one of those things where I'm angry at technology, but it's on me. I love it. Keep going. It asks me, "Do you want to have cloud backup of all your shit?" So I'm like, "Yeah, I do. Why not?" Let's do it. I got a lot of important things. I'm well, an important person. I'm an important person. I have pictures. I don't want to lose that dick. Pic. I have a lot of voicemails from the cops. <laughs> the cops. And then it immediately turned around. It was like, ah, uh, your storage is full. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And now I'm thinking about it. You want all, more storage? It's all linked to my Google Drive. Mm. So that's why it's full. But I don't know. I'm just crabby and old. But the one thing cool it does do that I don't think Apple does yet. Maybe there might be an app for it. I can link it up with a web browser. So instead of using my phone to text, I can type. So if I'm on my computer at work, instead of looking like I'm not doing anything by holding my phone, I can look like I'm doing something. But I'm actually just that is one benefit. And the only reason. So here's a weird thing, right? Apple has a stranglehold on the phone market. Yeah. They promote that they have a stranglehold on the computer market, but they don't. Yeah. So I think Apple is like, we don't give a fuck about the computer market because we don't have a lot of computers in the computer market. Yeah. Google is a, big into the, the PC, but not so much on the phone. So they probably have easier time linking it up. And also it makes more sense to make that easier transition. Whereas people with the iPhone, they're like, our customers use the iPhone and that's it. Like, yeah, it's it's interesting though, because like, it's just through a web browser. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like a. a, a t- it's like an app. It's not even an app. I literally, you literally go to messages.google.com. It has one of those uh, uh, ID codes. You oh. S- you scan it, and okay. then it just links up to your phone like that. Yeah, I don't. I I never. There was a time when like Galaxy and iPhone were like competing. Yeah. Or Android. Yeah. Is that Galaxy? Yeah. Yeah. So when those... This runs on Android too. Android is just an operating system. Yeah. So when those two were like competing, remember like 10 years ago or whatever, when they would like, you'd see commercials for both. Yeah. Um, And then it got to the point where like, they don't even advertise anymore because they, it's like, we got our customers and that's about it. Well, then Galaxy's also started exploding in people's pockets. 
and everyone yeah that's not good fuck, press yeah if people freak the fuck out yeah but it was nine i don't see how that phone can be as good as that unless apple literally just says we're gonna rest completely 100 percent on our laurels no because you have three billion people giving you input and you're stealing all their information as well but like you have all this input whereas like you just don't have like the testing, the beta testing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's like video games, right? You're a video game. Like when they test a video game, they, they let the customers do most of the testing. The quicker, the more customers you have, the, the easier you're going to find bugs. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Right? Yeah, I don't know. You're you know how that works? Yeah, people play things and then they don't work and they say stop. Exactly. I don't so know. like, but, but you're not writing in, right? No, of course I'm not. Yeah, so they're not well, going to find that bug. My coworker did say, "Did you reach out to Google about the 911 thing?" And I'm like, "No, why would I do that?" <laughs> I, I, dude, I, I really I, should. Writing reviews is a whole other topic. I mean, not. I should like call them and be like, "Yo, this is the thing." <laughs> have you ever written a review? Yes. Okay, I have. Uh, I maybe have written one. I've I've written into them to say like how I'm going to complain about this, but I feel like some people live to write bad reviews. They do. It's funny that you say that. Not even monetarily influenced, but just like they want to let you know that yeah. they were not happy with your. With it's your funny account. that you say that because we have a, uh, oh, what should I call it? Cloud based storage that we got at work, and I hate it. And it sucks because I was the one who pushed for it originally. Oh, that's such a terrible feeling. Yeah, I know, but it's it's garbage. So I wrote a nasty ass review online, like a nasty review, and it's not even on their website. It's on a third party uh, software website. I think it's like Captcha or something like that. No, that's what they use to prevent bots. Uh, it's something. Anyway, but uh, because I felt bad about it. Because, like, I don't want people to think, like, I just write nasty reviews. So I found software I did like, and I wrote a nice review. You went out of your way to find software that you liked to write a good review, thinking that all these people are going to look and be like, you know, things in Ukraine are pretty crazy right now. And, uh, you know, Will Smith slapping so-and-so. And did you see what Tim Fulton wrote on CAPTCHA or whatever? Like, that comment was pretty rough. And someone else is going to be like, yeah, but... But did you also see what he wrote about the new Apple iPhone? <laughs> All right. That offsets that comment. Okay. He is, he's back to even. I'm even. He's back to a good zero person. I, I, zero influence. Cosmic. It's cosmic justice. Yeah. If you were, if you were a, uh, a character in D&D, you'd be neutral. Yes. You'd be, you'd be uh, neutral good. Because I, I found the online place to do it. I went through proper channels. Yeah, whereas before you're chaotic, chaotic evil. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I wrote a nasty review and I killed their puppies. <laughs> <laughs> you're also an alcoholic in that one too. <laughs> All right, enough Tim bashing for the day. Uh, <laughs> he needs his water. What am I even... All right, guys, let us know. He the... doesn't have. His Walker. Let us know in the comment section down below what weird technology stuff has happened to you. Is there any bizarre things you can't explain? Is technology out to get you or is it just out to get me? I want to hear these stories. I, I do too. I'm relying on you, Mike. Right in the comment section down below. Yeah, Mike, get on that <laughs> All right, shit. let me use this fucking mouse <coughs> to close out of this bullshit. <laughs> it used to be a goddamn button I would press. Uh, where? Uh, here we go. Bye. You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all fucking day.